Okay, so there is a search engine made for retro computers that, so that you can browse the modern web in simpler form, right? But what if you want to browse the web as it was in the 1990s without, like, just seamless? So that's just seamless. So there's this thing called Wayback Proxy um, on GitHub. Um, and I'm going to be showing how you can install it and how it works. And we're going to be installing it to the Raspberry Pi that's, getting, that's managing my network up here. So we'll do that right after the intro. Okay, so let's um, get started by downloading um, the git to the Raspberry Pi, which is behind here. Um, so let's first SSH into the Pi. Don't look at my password. And now we can um, copy this link and enter the command git clone and paste the link. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah. Okay, so now that we've cloned it, I've done this before, so that's why there was that issue, but now that we've cloned it, um, we can um, CD into Wayback Proxy 2. On yours it would be just Wayback Proxy. And then we can nano, type in nano config.py. So here's where you can configure, um, how it runs, yeah, let's set the date to, um, let's set to 2007, 02, okay, Crow Lakes, yes, okay, now we can, um, run in Python 3, waybackproxy.py. I've got already running in the background. Oh. Um, so now, um, even though it's running in the background in that, I'll just set this to so let's just configure it so that the date is and now we can just go um, on the iMac we can go to edit preferences in internet explorer and now we can set this um, so you can just scroll down and find proxies and we can go http colon slash slash um one nine two your um Raspberry Pi is a IP address made very but one nine two dot one six eight dot two two zero dot one is uh, is over here. And the port is eight 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 eight. So now we can Let's go to apple.com as it was once the iMac was introduced. No, not the iMac. After the iPhone was introduced. 
And here we are. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, it's running in 2001 now. But anyway, so this is on the day that, um, so if we go to Microsoft.com, slash Windows. This is on the day that Windows XP was introduced. So, if we wait for this, I'll get my butt off the table. Loading. It's gonna take a while. Please work. This is how slow the internet was back then as well. Let's try it again. Okay, well it looks like Windows isn't working. So let's just go to Microsoft.com. Okay, well, it's taking ages, but oh, here we are. Windows XP is here, let's go to that. This is incredibly slow, but that's 90s internet for you and 2000s. Um, but yeah, I'll do my outro right now. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more kind content like this, remember to hit the like button, um, share this video with your friends, and get subscribed so that you can see when we do more stuff on this, like um, repair this optical drive. Um, so here we have our page, which is uploaded. Yay. But yeah, see you next time. Bye.